in a week where new TV series Batwoman chose a fitness superhero to promote the show. Fish Red. I shit you not, that is who they chose. I would like to think they did it ironically as he is literally the bane of fitness YouTube. Something even more painful than that has gone viral. The barbell backflip by this gentleman right here. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry, this is not functional patterns. <laughs> The functional pattern fanboys are madly searching for my dress right now. Here's a clue. It's white wall. Postcode Naudi Aguilar's attitude towards replying to comments discussing his methods is outright trash. This does not look very functional. Yeah, but let's be real here for a second. You guys are just two regular Joes who don't know shit. Your mum is not very functional. She had you. His attitude is just simply terrible in conversing and there's a real arrogance to it. Everyone who liked this guy's comment got blocked. Overreaction much? This ain't the way to further our education and understanding and being open-minded and non-binary when it comes to these issues. <laughs> Gonna get to that man later in this video. I had an out-of-body experience. I was beside myself. And so I actually played this clip in a recent video as just a segue. <laughs> However, I did not realize that this is trending and a viral video and this barbell backflip challenge is going everywhere now. He's using a light bar and very light plates, so a very minimal weight. Wicked sick. And therefore, this is not such a superhuman feat as people are making it out to be. And so let's start with the science. And I thought I would write down all the physiological benefits associated with backflipping with a barbell. It is high risk in terms of injury with a non-existent reward. It does, however, look cool in cool school, but translated is completely dangerous and unnecessary, which to be fair, probably comes from the same cheat sheet that this man uses every time he steps near a barbell. Caption this, the best caption wins a free program. Do you need to know my somatotype before I comment? You have multiple different types of bars and people will literally deceive you on social media by using either fake plates or light plates and light weights. In this case, this guy is using a technique bar which weighs nowhere near what your regular bar would. When we see a bar and plates, we assume that we have a regular sized bar with 45 on each side. But actually, in the reality of social media junk, that's not often the case. If you actually use a real bar and increase the load, then that would be a completely different ball game. And so whilst this barbell backflip is Devon Levake's wet dream. Bruh. This ain't a good idea and what you're seeing in social media is actually pretty deceptive. Backflips are hugely athletic and impressive plyometric movements. Barbells are a fantastic tool to use for multiple exercises. However, when you put them together, they are about as unsavory as now Diagula replying to comments. That's what I call a segue. And so the barbell backflip is a functional fail and now Diagula's attitude towards the fitness genre is also a fail. And so this video is not a review of functional patterns per per se, as that would need a separate video. There's so much to talk about with his training and his views that that would need a balanced and analytical approach. And absolutely, there are many positive things that he does and movement training itself is absolutely valid. And the misinterpretation police love to attack these types of videos and say, oh, if you're supporting barbells, therefore you don't support movement training. Humans have moved like this for generations, etc." Movement training is absolutely valid, but so is traditional barbell lifting. Indeed, there are many ways that you can train. And I actually think that cross training, training in multiple different ways has a high level of validity to it. But I do absolutely disagree with the way he demonizes on traditional weightlifting, for example, deadlifts when he says stuff like this. Deadlifts are horrible in every sense. There's a select few that push through mindless pain of a deadlift, ignoring all the signals their body is trying to send to them. I wish those people recommending this lift were more honest about how their body feels when they do it. Through this video, I'm going to project the idea that we need to stop being so binary and close-minded when we approach this idea of functional fitness. And indeed, I'm going to explain how it's actually very difficult to not class something as functional, as long as there is specificity and overload attached to that exercise. As essentially everything that we do in the gym can increase functional capacity, again with a few caveats. This. 
this is what you call a caveat. And the major problem I see is that movement training or exercises which envelop multiple planes of motion, multiple movements within that exercise are classed as functional and then everything else which isn't that which doesn't fit into that mold is classed as non-functional. And the only people this benefits are those that are profiting from this. These people that can classify their form of training as functional, they can nicely package it and sell it to people as unique, sell their training courses and their programs because this is functional training, moving in multiple planes of motion simultaneously. Yes, that is functional, but other exercises are too. He also goes after yoga as a training format. And when it comes to, for example, should you deadlift or not, it's highly variable depending on the person. With any lift, with any exercise selection, we have to think about ourselves, our characteristics and our goals. For many people, deadlifts will be fantastic. And for many people, different forms of deadlifts may be a better choice for them. For some people, they may not deadlift for certain reasons due to their characteristics. But taking this generic brush and stating traditional compound exercises like a deadlift as bad is simply not the correct way to approach it. But as I've said, to get into that deeply would be a whole different video. How do you do right when everyone else is wrong? Now Aguilar. And so now Aguilar functional patterns, considering he is supposedly trying to spread education to his supposedly alternative methods of training. He put up this video which tweaked my interest. What he does here is a vertical jump knee tuck with an incline push of a stone. He then goes into a, a broad jump and then he runs up a hill. Now in itself, nothing wrong in that. These are established movements, but on the same token, it's not something unique and creative that he's invented. It was slightly pretentious the way that it's filmed and produced, but it's his way of replying to comments, which is extremely revealing for someone who's supposedly furthering education in his training format. And to be clear, he is pushing a specific training format. I don't do that, for example. I talk analytically around topics, but I don't push a specific training modality. He is, and therefore the responsibility on him is to converse with people in a productive manner. And at this point, some people will say, well, he debated Dr. Brett Contreras recently. Therefore, he is open to discussion and debate in a reasonable and respectful manner. Dr. Contreras, who's a highly intelligent guy, I have much respect for him, challenged Naudi to a debate years ago. Naudi waited until Brett had an injury to then choose that moment to debate him this year. That's what we call in England a dick move. And indeed, it was not a debate. It was on Naudi's channel and he led the conversation. And I think Brett was actually holding back a lot. And an actual debate would need a neutral debate master. Could have definitely said that word wrong. This is still family friendly as I think I delivered that right. And the debate master would then have a neutral channel where he could then facilitate this debate between two different opposing sides. Your boy has me lost with this one. Other than running up a hill, the other movements are just absurd. WTF are you talking about? You're some fitness industry dumbass making opinions on functionality. Know your role, donkey. Go do some more six pack bull. Some of us are actually trying to solve problems. Also calling people donkeys, dumbasses and clowns. I'm just trying to understand how this helps share information in a way that encourages people to change their viewpoint without ridiculing and putting them down. This guy, Adam Freighter butchers the term functional fitness to create some sort of nonsense on his channel. And so many people are scared by spiders or snakes or horror movies such as Paul Blart Mall Cop Part 2. For me, this is the stuff that scares me, this stuff right here. And I have a video on what functional fitness really is and it exists on a spectrum and many things can be termed functional if they are improving functional capacity. And here's what I had to say. And functional training as a concept is an umbrella term. It, it encompasses so much. It's a spectrum. It's a spectrum of exercises which meet specific goals, which increase functional capacity, again, depending on you and your characteristics. We cannot just so generically brush functional fitness into a small box with a closed mind and then say this is functional and this is not. And therefore to label a barbell back squat as non-functional is simply incorrect. It has function for a specific purpose for the specific person training it. For the majority of the population, simply getting stronger, regardless of the exercise employed, will enhance functional capacity. Ultimately, the functional transfer of an exercise exists on a continuum with certain exercises having greater applicability than others based on individual goals and abilities. 
And just because a, a given exercise may provide greater functional transfer for a given person doesn't necessarily mean that the exercise is non-functional. However, the caveat to that and the exercises, which are certainly non-functional, but circus tricks, are stuff like this, which have a high risk, low rewards. And you may say, well, that's hypocritical, James, because maybe he's training towards a specific function. And the reason I've chosen this, this person is not to make fun of him. It's because he's chosen this exercise with specific goals in mind. And this exercise does not relate to these goals. But the problem we have is people trying to create a niche and therefore their training is functional and your training is not functional. This binary, tribal, divisive approach which is incorrect and also completely unhelpful and unnecessary. Please let me know your views on the barbell backflip and also what you think about Naudi Aguilar's approach to responding to comments. There are many more examples of his abrasive cutting and condescending reaction. I'm James Linker. This is Shred Sports Science. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.